Folks, uh, as of the time of this recording, it's about a week or two till summer starts, and, well, I I figured these dumb schmucks and I are well due for a vacation. So I booked us a trip to Isle Delfino! Hooray! It's Power Washing Simulator circa 2002. This is like an all-expenses-paid vacation, right, James? Yeah, totally! Absolutely! It's coming out of your premium hype. Joke's on you. I don't have premium. Oh, crap. <gasps> so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, back in the glory days of 2002, when the Nintendo GameCube was uh, just still shy of a year old, uh, they remembered that Mario was still in dire need of a 3D platformer on the uh, console, and uh, eventually, just on the tip scale of summer, we got Super Mario Sunshine, where our plucky trio of Mario Peach and uh, Peach's new Old student, Mannington. Yeah, uh, Toadsworth, may he rest in peace, decided to take a vacation down uh, in this island shaped like a dolphin. By the way, I'd like to point out something real quick. In this uh, little uh, montage of scenes, if you look at the lower right corner of the Bianco Hill shot, you'll see a tiny Mario. Hey! Mm. <laughs> ah, they forgot to remove him when they took that screenshot. <laughs> Also, you may notice a slight bit, be it in the text or in the images. That's Charles Martinet. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I sound like it anyway, but... Uh, basically, you may notice a slight bit of Gaussian blurring uh, for the HD All-Stars collection. They kind of did this odd thing where they sort of... It's almost like... It, the AI my, upscaled it. Yeah, the AI upscaled the cutscene, which I believe is a bit odd, but... Uh, it's a bit odd, and I mean, it, it doesn't help to that, I mean, considering this was originally a 4x3 game. I hate how I could see Toadsworth's mouth underneath that mustache. <laughs> That's fine. That's how you know he's happy. Anyway, well, I mean, like, fun. but you're not supposed to see the funny cartoon man's mouth when he has a mustache. It's cartoon rules. But, Iki, don't you know? All Toads technically don't have mustaches. His is fake. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now I understand. Oh God, I grew that It's mustache. the worst Mario 3D game. Oh, my god! Welcome, everybody, to Super Mario Sunshine, courtesy of 3D All-Stars. <laughs> I'm already in my uh, in my short-sleeved uh, shirt and overalls, and uh, once I hit this block, we shall start our vacay. Why not? I'd just like to make mention real quick. Uh, it's been how many years since they released the 3D All-Stars collection? About two years, I want to say. I still haven't unboxed mine from the plastic wrap. Oh, really? Oh, really? Whoa! Stop the play! It is still sealed up tight in that stupid thing. What happened? So what you're telling us, Iki, is that you are doing everything in your power to make sure Pandora's box is unopened. Yeah. Well, now that we got Mario 64 on the NSO and Galaxy... Maybe. On the Wii U. For sure, those that still have one, anyway. <laughs> so yes, uh, we're here, and uh, things aren't looking too so hot. Well, okay, granted, it looks it's pretty hot down there. I mean, do you see all that? Uh, huh? Do you see all the shimmering, uh, like all the haze? I just realized that with that with the proper perspective and understanding how far away that water tank is, Shadow Mario was gigantic. <laughs> I am a god. Given what Shadow Mario is capable of, I mean, he could very well be literally the size of a, of a freaking tall skyscraper. Have you seen yeah. what he can do? In, have you seen what he can do in Smash? But in any case, I have a bad feeling about this. Yo, you got it. So now, welcome... now, boys, don't touch that stuff. I will say, I will still fight by this game's defense, though, and say that this was probably one of the best-looking Mario games when it came out. Like this was officially just Nintendo saying, okay. We can do water physics, we can do heat warp, heat warping all that stuff and make it run at a fairly solid... I forgot, did it? Did the original run at 60 FPS? It was 30. Uh, no, it was always 30. It ran at 30. Okay, well here I think it runs at 60. So yeah, uh, oh. what Dunderhead drew this weirdly ominous painting of my image really in the middle of the uh, of the strip? It's awful. Oh, you know what? It's uh, funny. Now that, I look, now that I look at that, I... It, I am an idiot. It took me until now to realize that actually is supposed to be Mario's head. Yep. Really? Ah, uh, it's so <laughs> hideous. That horrible mustache. That big bulbous nose. Those and that bulbous... stupid mustache! <laughs> it always looks good on you, Mario! Oh, this good on you. Actually, I was thinking, like, Logan does all that, like, in the Oops. Luigi voice. It's like, ah, uh, that hideous. And Mario's like, this is why I didn't invite you. <laughs> 
So yeah, uh, not only is our you know is everything all mucky around here, the the uh, denizens of this place, the Piantas, uh, think that well we're responsible for this mess. I mean, do you see that wanted poster over there? <gasps> That's actually mm -hmm. a very. I, I actually remembered being a little creeped out by like how stylistically like shady it looked. You, yeah, no, I almost you, thought it looked like something very ethereal. You, 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 <laughs> you, are you big so new to the Myra franchise, or is these walking, talking palm tree fellas? Not only that, we also got this uh, funny little talking gadget named Flood. Just hmm. suddenly here out of nowhere, courtesy of uh, Gad Enterprises. Look at the corner. Hey, look at all of our history. Yeah. Up until now. A little hard to tell from all the AI upscaling, but uh, you get the draw. I know, but yeah. This I mean, is... even on a CRT TV, you'd be a little bit hard to discern. Perhaps. It, yeah. But yeah, this but, is... But uh, just like that, he's our, he's our tool for the whole game. Proceeding with user instruction. Okay. Long live the long jump. Uh, and bear in mind, these voice these voice lines will no longer match up with the uh, you know the text here. But give it uh, giving them props. One of the biggest problems that led Nintendo to not port this game for the longest time was you know the original GameCube had analog triggers, and most other controllers since then did not have analog triggers. So for whatever reason, props to them that with all the additional buttons, we now get to play this game. Now, please put Luigi's Mansion on here. That'd be nice. I mean, again, still feels like they were kind of shooting themselves in the foot putting that on the uh, 3DS as opposed to the Switch when that was more or less a nice drive, but uh, that's a topic for another day. So, basically, with Flood, he is our handy-dandy little uh, water backpack. Basically, we can use him to spray. Is... Go ahead. He is our EGAD brand uh, super soaker. Yep. Essentially, you can spray You can spray with his uh, squirt nozzle, or you can switch to the hover nozzle to make some uh, very, lo very long hovering distance, which is pretty much you're going to be your bestest friend in this whole game. I think, it, I think it pretty much defines a lot of the platforming in this game. It is time for us gentlemen to learn that clean is better than dirty. And dirty is meaner than clean. Yay. So let's all lend a helping hand, because Mario because has to do it Because the Piantas are of no use. <laughs> Speaking of... Also, we'll definitely say this is gonna, unfortunately going to be a case where muscle memory is going to be my biggest enemy, uh -huh. considering that uh, given that this is the Switch version of the game, uh, some controls were changed around accordingly, or not changed around enough. Uh -huh. I really thought it was a gun! Hey, hang on. It's you! This whole mess is your fault! Easy, Patrick, easy. It was you! There's a difference between right and wrong, you know. They say that dirty... He starts singing the song. Okay, now it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a funny... Yeah, I keep doing that. Uh, one thing I'm definitely not a fan of in this game is that the, they expect you to click on the right stick to go to first-person view, which, unlike what? in uh, the original game, where I think it was the Y button. Yeah. Mm. Which, on the Switch, is technically the X button now, which you use to switch between your nozzles, which is also kind of uh, annoying. I'm glaring at those fish in the water. I need a reminder, did the original Sunshine use the C-Stick at all? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. It was pretty much your means to, um, control the camera. Yep, okay. right analog stick controls, baby! But, yep, uh... no longer are we constricted to the days of the C button where, uh, camera, where camera panning would only be set to certain intervals in the most claustrophobic of spots. Also this weird thing. Yeah, the goopy piranha plant. He looks kind of friendly, don't he? No. Be careful. Kill it. He's thirsty. Let's feed him. Clean him up. Oh, I don't think he likes that. He thinks water's too spicy. <laughs> Somehow. When water is too spicy for you. He has a hydro allergy. All for you, buddy boy. And thus the living paint is destroyed. I'm not gonna lie. When I was little, I thought... I thought everything was out to kill you in this game, <laughs> so I played it the stealth way. Oh. Stealth way? I didn't directly... I try to stay as far away as possible from that group. Oh, I pity you with the cataquax then. I know. Oh. I was terrified of everything in this oh. game. Oh. I will... I, I, Even it, those coins! They could be my worst enemy. <laughs> no, the blue coins are my friends! I will say, the tone I got while playing this game was definitely like Mario was in a much more hostile environment. Uh... 
particularly... I mean, for, for one. Well, part yeah, particularly of the context of the scene we're about to witness here as we have just arrived for our vacation. Oh, 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 oh hey, it's the authorities. Maybe they can help us out. Um, excuse me, sirs, can you... Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's still up by the loin Jones. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yep. I can see Mario's face. Oh, yeah. The... <laughs> yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got in this mess. And now for the most rigged trial ever to deface the Mario world. Oh no, someone spilled all the chocolate syrup. Off with his head, I say. And what you don't see is that, like, there's, like, you just see Shadow Mario, like, behind the judge. Like, you don't see it because of the stand, but he's just holding a pistol at his back the entire time. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, he's holding a stick, like, he's just puppeting the, the, the judge. <laughs> Or that too, whichever one you think is which whichever one you think is more appropriate. No, he's sitting. He's sitting alongside like the the uh, the audience with a cell phone with his hand. <laughs> well, I'm off to go play with Jingly Geese and question how I got this job in the first place. <laughs> Yahoo. So. Ooh. Hey, that doesn't look anything like me. I don't grow a mustache that big. I just love Mario's expression throughout this whole thing. Like, he really is just like, What is happening right now? Oh, oh come on, you didn't even give her a chance! Welcome to the Japanese court system, everybody. Is it really that bad? You know what, it actually does explain a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll defer you to ask Matt about that later, because, yeah, no, basically the Ace Attorney series was at some points literally made to almost parody the judges, like, uh, the whole court system. Which is kind of a shame, because, like, I'd say this is worse, because at least Nick has an opportunity to actually defend his case. These guys didn't even get a chance. Look at that JPEG. Wow. That's a PNG. Witness Ooh. it. It's in, it, it's surrounded by a black background. That means it's a PNG. Oh. My mistake. Okay, now it's a JPEG. So, now it's I'll say for what it's worth, file. like, I know people make the joke that this island's full of assholes. And it I mean, is. Yeah, no, there's there's definitely a handful of them that are, you know, total assholes that deserve whatever comes to them. The rest of them are just scared. Yeah. Or at the very least, don't really give two shits about you, and I just see you as, uh, I don't know, and I just see, uh, you're just visioning. I mean, you do, I mean... At the very least, like, you do at least start to win them over, especially once they start to learn more about who is truly behind all this. But for now, like, it was definitely this tone that I remembered the most of, like, man, like, this place is screwed up. And <laughs> Man, Luigi <laughs> goes vacationing in a mansion and I get this. And, and I'll I was put it just... this way. Mm -hmm. If I were to ever replay Super Mario Sunshine, I'm not saving this island for the Piantos. They could go drown. I'm saving That's... it for the Nokis. The Nokis are cute. Again, well, I, I think there's certain... There's some Piantas I think are fine. The rest, they're, they're, they got, like, these guys right here, I mean, they suck. Name yeah. one Pianta that deserves saving. Um, all the others that don't act us? I mean, they're I was, just minding their own business. For I was about to say, uh, how about, how about the Piantas own. that were selling fruit there? They're minding their own business. Look at that, what about that yeah, guy see, with you, I mean, Look at this guy, he's selling... <gasps> You know what, second thought, maybe you aren't worth it. They're totally toxic, like I can't even touch Kick him, him with my own hands! Kick him along. Also, we have like a, a news alert. Oh, the devs alert. <laughs> the ones on the right are durians, and the one on the left are uh, coconuts. Oh. If you're not buying, get lost! Okay, he's a jerk. Sheesh, one asshole. Who Just keep this guy in a stupid nose. Yeah, the one with the ukulele seems to yeah, we have the tourist map. Did I tell you to press the L button to view that thing? No. Oh, well there you go, buddy. This is your map. You can click on this to see how many of those shines you got. You can click here to see... see. Alright, that'll be three bucks. What is this, a web browser? Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> it's such a... It actually is a web browser when you really think about it. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's a cute little idea. So ultimately, welcome to our main hub for this area. Hey, Toad. Wow, you're safe! What a relief! This vacation is crazy! The princess is waiting for you just up ahead! Okay, so okay. yeah, so we got the Piantas, who are, you know, the denizens. You also got the Toads, who just stand around looking all... Toady? Or, or, they gotta be. Yeah, exactly, Toady, and doing nothing else. 
But the Pianta... No, no, no. They gotta pee real bad, but the the Piantas don't let them into the bathroom unless they buy something. They, I was gonna say, they're, I was say yeah, they're, they're, they're even all, then, the customers only. they open the door for you. They give you a password to open the door for yourself. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> but unfortunately, the key, but unfortunately, the keypad for the password entry is approximately two toads tall off the floor. <laughs> and only yeah. one... I don't so know. And stacking gonna... toes in this count, uh, this uh, particular uh, jurisdiction is uh, against the law. There's a lot of bureaucratic if can't behind do it, all toads this. can't. But in any case, so I, I mean, I gotta say, then, James, your thoughts on on Delfino Plaza as a hub, as the as the overall controls. How did this feel going from Mario sixty four to this? I mean, it's very tropical. It's I mean, it's currently ble bleached of any sunlight, but otherwise, I mean, it's fairly colorful. Um, I think. As far as hubs are concerned, it's honestly pretty all right. I think we can fix. Yeah, I, I think we can fix that sun problem. No sweat. No sweat whatsoever. Just also, a whole lot of uh, salt water sprayed on your face. Hey, my mama, big the bumble. No, I love well, if it isn't the scribble doodle man himself, you jerk. Dude, we just what do you think we're just nonsense? This stuff is no joke, you know. Now clean it up! We literally just saved you from drowning in chocolate sauce. What more do you need? That's the other thing I remember is the... Is the I remember the writing being just kind of ridiculous with all the scribbled doodle They're man. They're assholes! <laughs> this is so amazing, isn't it? Where are the TV cameras? Oh uh, yeah, you spilled water over them! <laughs> oh wait, is it over already? I missed something? Oh. Uh? See, that guy's that guy's just minding his own business. I mean, he just want he's just here for the excitement. It's oh, like he doesn't even see us. Wait, so what are is? these colorful? Yeah, he's buried in the gunk. Things. Ow! Ow! Yeah, see? Oh uh, shit! There he is. Ow. I'll see you, buddy. <laughs> what are these uh, uh jellyfish things that are launching at you? Oh uh, yeah, the uh, <laughs> the, 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 the jelly. But I forget what they're exactly called, but uh, they're, they're, they're called stews. I don't think that's what they're called at I don't all. Think they're uh, no, these aren't the stews. We'll meet the stews later. No, oh, oh, look at us. Oh, okay. Everything just went dark, and I thought I'm done for. This is it. Time to give the not time to leave the radio to my son. And uh, I leave just, my uh, Gary's I mean, water bowl to Gary and my curtains too. It's all the swoop and stew. Let's. Oh, okay, oh, okay, fair enough. Apparently, it's classified as a slug. I mean, even though it's clearly a jellyfish. I mean, I can see it sort of. It does leave a trail behind. All you gotta know is that when we're on Isle Delfino, you're gonna be seeing a lot of unique enemies and fauna that we have not seen before. There we go. The creatures in this land are very weird. Very yeah. weird and very unlike anything that Mario's ever dealt with before. Including you his like new nemesis. Koopas or Koopas. Oh. Including our latest nemesis. A weirdo that looks exactly like us. Oh. Creepy. No, uh, no who the heck do you think it is? I'm right here! It's yeah, like, I mean, I just... I, I, hey, what are you doing? What are you going? Hey! I can't feel my legs! I, they fell asleep! I don't like this! Oh, no! <laughs> and off she... Good, 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 uh, good struggle there, princess. All right, let's go save her. Yeah, this is one of many times that we'll have be having to deal with uh, Shadow Mario's uh, stupid little antics running all over the place, leaving his gunk everywhere. Excuse me. But, I mean, it's not... Thank you, police officers. <laughs> it, Thank you, police like... officers, for doing nothing. Hey, you see what I'm seeing? Yeah, the perpetrator and his brother are playing tag. What are they doing slacking on the job? You know it's- What, you mean to tell me he duplicated himself? I- I thought with them looking at the ground, it was like, HELP US! And he's like, They see how these ants are walking in a line? That usually <laughs> means they're taking food back to their house. Oh, I never noticed that before. And it, Man, see, I sure miss the- I sure miss the days when I can actually control my water on a more- A little more thoroughly than this. Ow, ow, ow! Not fair! Completely unfair! You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that! I call you sound like Gilbert Gottfried. What? Mario. Imagine if he sounded like Gilbert Gottfried. I don't want to Why? imagine that, though, Mario. I'm... Oh, I didn't really <laughs> should do a little tantrum like this. <laughs> I bought. He's responsible for this. Chase him. Beat him up. She just got manhandled by a guy that looks exactly like me. Oh, oh, don't forget to chase him down. Before we stop. Before we chase huh? him down. Yes. Go back. Why? Go stomp on Toesworth. Why? Why? It's important. What? Why? 
It's important. Uh oh, let me see this. All right. Just jump on him. He said the thing. Moving on. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> he says that <laughs> like he goes. Rah, 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 rah. Okay, stop laughing. And oh, he also says pie hole. Oh, pie hole. <laughs> Yeah, you, heard, you didn't hear that? He, no. he said pie hole whenever you stomp on him. Yes. Pie hole! Also, what's this? A portal to another part of the island. Oh no, we're dipping dots now. Mate our paintings, everybody. This is our life, I guess. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't worry, I'll be better in the morning. This <laughs> is just what? This is all just a day in Mario's work. Mario's life. Anyway, there he is again. <sighs> Remember when this was supposed to be our vacation spot? Welcome not to actually. Yeah, me neither. I say that. I mean, that's the part where I'm not going to say it's the worst game, but now my part. I will. Throw... Oh, now... before I forget, uh, this beyond to here. He's cool. What does he say? Hey, I think you're in need of a pair of my special sunshades. Oh. Oh well. Then again, maybe you're not ready. Oh, you he's... need to spend a bit more time here in Isle Delfino. Come back when you think you're ready for a pair. Fun fact: Did you know that Delfino means dolphin and Isle means Isle? Oh, I didn't know that. Me, yeah, me neither. <laughs> no, I mean, I knew about it. I didn't know. Anyway, I guess where was going with this? Uh, just the fact that, like, uh, my, to, to, tossing my opinion into the into No, these the are arena strong here. students. Cute. I, just, like, just throwing my opinion to the ring here. Welcome to what I believe is probably one of the most difficult Mario games. Uh, 3D Mario games, most especially. Just. Yeah. I mean, at first, it's, it, the difficulty of the game doesn't really shine itself that much, like, right now. Like, everything's still relatively on par with what we'd come to expect from Mario 64 and future Mario games. Mm -hmm. It's not until you start reaching some of the later missions in the game where you start to really feel the sting of its difficulty. Especially the optional shit. I would say especially the optional stuff. It, 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 this, this definitely continued that premise of... This definitely, continued, this definitely continued the premise of... Oh, oh I'm all dirty. Ooh. Let me clean that up. I'm a dirty Yahoo. boy. Oh, I didn't know he'd actually shake it off like that. Cute. But what happens if you are dirty? You take he you lose health. Uh, only if you're dirty to a certain like. Okay, no, you only lose health when you're when you're sticking yourself in the mud for too long. Like when you're like dirty and just running around like that. It doesn't really cause any harm. It's mostly just it's mostly just unnecessary decor. Also, if you keep running around while you're dirty, you can slip. Oh, I That's didn't know also that. True. Oh, you don't need. Oh, you don't even need to be dirty to dirty to slip while sliding. You can also you can also do this. Oh, actually, this is really a bad time to show it off. So let me just go ahead and take care of this numb that's shooting all the piranha heads. That's a good actually, idea. Actually, those things are called piranha bombs. Piranha like, bombs. Like they're bomb bombs, but piranhas. Oh. I don't know how they work physiologically, but well, we'll get to that. Well, we'll something. get to. Well, we will get to that momentarily. For now, what James is mentioning with the sliding is that another key thing to look forward to is that not just Flood, uh, a lot of the movements that we that we now believe to be synonymous with Mario's 3D movements did get their start in Sunshine. Yep, My like God. the like the uh, spin, mainly the spin jump, because uh, as you no doubt notice here and there, I've been doing a little. The funny little twirly thing whenever I jump like this, especially to clean all this gunk off. And I, and I believe it also gave us more uh, options with our uh, with the diving, the, the dive slide anyway. At the very most, it just lets you keep on diving like this. And I think the only, as far as I'm concerned, I think the only game that does that. Oh, I thought Odyssey. You know, I'm thinking of the rolling in Odyssey. Yeah, no, the the rolling is essentially just that, but better. And a and a classic. And a classic little trick we'd like to do is uh, put some water on the ground, slide into it, and you just suddenly get instant acceleration. But no Very matter. Very handy when you want to get a move on. But no matter, shine, get. Oh lordy, we're gonna try. We're actually gonna try and do this live. Oh boy. Yes, we are. Though I will actually. I, you know what? I will definitely say this much. I am not dumb enough to commit to commit this to a 100% run. No, I'm not. Asking I was gonna that. ask. Because uh, let's just say that a good handful of the optional shines you can get in the game are pretty obnoxious. And, well, there's also the matter of, uh... A certain collectible. Yeah. Sounds like the worst, isn't he, Peach? Welcome back. <laughs> We're so glad you're safe, Mario. This vacation is just a whirlwind of the world. No, no, no. no, no. I mean, no. It's... <laughs> this vacation is turned all south in all possible ways. <laughs> I don't like Moving it. Moving on. Let's, let's, keep, let's, keep, let's keep back to it. I assume we're going to do, like, one session per area. Uh, no, more like one session per... Mm. Chapter? I'd, 
I'd say let's go for at least maybe another hour. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Because uh, uh, effectively, uh, uh, another key thing to you know, note... You know what, no, I think, my, I think what I'll do is that I will... This session will go on until we reach a very pivotal event in the story. I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was going to say, that is a key thing to note. As far as this game's progression, it already is different from the likes of, say, Galaxy or Mario 64 in that your, your shine count doesn't even really matter all that much. What's really matter... Go ahead. It does not. Yeah. It really does not. Like, this is like the one 3D Mario game where the, the where the amount of shines you have is about as superfluous as all the coins you collect. Yep. Effectively, there all is the a minimum amount of shines you need, but those yeah. shines are specific shines tethered to level missions. Well, let's say that's, 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 that's the big key thing, is they don't care, like, ultimately what this game is looking for, that speedrunners oh. or, uh, I think it's either speedrunners or, uh, no, 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 apologies, yes. Yeah. The main thing that this Ow. game is looking for that speedrunners found out is it doesn't care, again, it does not, does not care about how many shines you have. They just are looking for, they're hoping that you can get each of the episode sevens clear. Once every world's episode seven is clear, then you're ready to beat the game. What? Wait, Whoa. should we ah. explain what episode seven is now, or should we wait till later? I say wait till later. But but just know, wait on it. But just know that yeah, James is not doing a hundred percent run, but he is gonna have to still beat every uh, one of these stages since uh, we don't do all those speed running glitches. Although they are fun. I mean, there may be there may be some optional missions I'll do just for the fuck of it, but otherwise I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit to getting all the shots because again, it's an abs it's an absolute like clusterfuck. It's an exercise in tedium in all the worst ways. Yeah. So especially, especially say if like you're gonna actually go for all those blue coins because uh, it's pretty easy to forget wh which ones you got and which ones you didn't. Well, it's not like there's an in-game checklist. Uh -huh. No, at the very, at the very most, you just you, the game just tells you how many did you get in this region specifically. It doesn't even matter like episode, like if they're ex episode exclusive or whatever. It gives which you a tally a and nothing else. Yep. Which right. is, which thankfully I remember. I remember when I was doing it myself. IGN, I guess, has their own little like checklist of sorts. But, but in any case, fine. You are talking a lot of big smackdown on this. Icky, have you played and beaten Sunshine? I've played Sunshine. I've beaten Sunshine. As for one hundred percenting Sunshine, forget it. Fair. You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's Don't a you thing. just. Why don't you, I don't know, throw that motherfucking monster into the water? <gasps> also, what's that big red M supposed to be? Graffiti. This red M is one of uh, many of Shadow Mario's calling cards. Spray oh. them and they'll usually give you a certain surprise. Namely... Hang on. Namely blue <laughs> coins. <laughs> you, you, there's, oh. like, there's like a certain hitbox you want. Oh, These are the no. blue coins. Yep, there are 240 of them in the entire game. And that's why I refuse to 100% this game ever. Yeah. I've only had the patience to get all the shine sprites that don't that don't involve the blue coins. Otherwise, just yeah, no, the the blue coins in and of themselves are can be very deceptively well hidden. Not even yeah. just deceptively well hidden. They could be they could be absolute sons of bitches to acquire in some cases. Because here's the thing: the bird ones. Well, no, no, but here's the most diabolical thing when it comes to the blue coins. Some of them could be episode-specific. Yes. The game will never tell you which coins are in which chapter. Or oh, yeah, they, just, oh, yeah they, they expect you to traipse the whole thing. Uh, go for it. It is Alrighty. dreadful to experience. Hey there, everybody! Making a grand debut! It's me, baby! Hey, Petey. You wrote a bad song, Petey. We're going to have a boss battle on top of the... Huh? Was it you? <gasps> Yay! Uh oh. Did oh. you hear that? You know, I think my doctor was onto something when I say I had a bit had a big head. And there we go. Now we have our boss battle. Oh. So yeah, this is the series debut of now mainstay PD Piranha. Yep. Before he had a he had, before he had a tongue in his mouth. And before he liked to carry big cages around. Uh, I think he's just as thirsty as the sla as the swamp people were. <laughs> yeah, I did too, you know, too much sunlight can lead to rot. Let me help you with that. Yeah, stay hydrated, buddy. I, was, I think it's a little too hydrated if, if, if uh. I'm be honest. Blah! This game has some oh. really whacked out character animations. It's... I like it. Oh yeah, no, like, the, again, this is like, this is their Nintendo's next big step since the N64 days, and I'd say they made a pretty decent impression. 
whether it be this or uh, Wind Waker, like, this this year was pretty experimental for Nintendo in almost all the best ways, and a lot of it was uh, all somewhat ig ignored by the masses up until recently. A whole bunch of hits, but a very few misses. Right. That's fair. What, how, what do you think about it, Hype? Um, well, with PD himself, it is amusing just how easily, maybe not easily, but just how he was able to become a mainstay, considering how, like, as far as Sunshine is concerned, you only see him, like, I think <laughs> two times in the entire nice. game. Oh! Uh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. What did we do? Uh, I'll clean that up. Oh, never mind. That's disturbing. He was chocolate all along. <laughs> Now it's not so disturbing. Now it just seems wa Willy Wonka silly. <laughs> <laughs> now grab it! P.D. Augustus Gloop the Piranha. Now grab it and pretend you saw nothing. You didn't see anything. So yes, now, that we have, now that we have three Shine Sprites, I want to say that opens up the uh, next area of the map. Yes, it does. Which I guess this is probably the only real notable thing regarding the Shine Sprites is that collecting a certain amount of them will unlock the first handful of worlds for you. And also progress the story once you reach a certain amount of them. I believe the amount of Shine Sprites that you need for, a few, like, the first few levels is 3 and then 15. Uh, not 15. 10? Uh... It's more like it starts with three, then I think six, and then uh, the next, and then after that is ten, and Hold that's, on, and then then after, and after that is when shine sprites start to become a little less uh, significant. I have the Wikipedia, uh, no, 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 the uh, Mario Wiki thing. Well, the wiki, well, the wiki, I think, well, the wiki is inaccurate because I, I know the big, the next big plot point is until we reach at ten shine sprites. So we got our work cut out for us, but I mean. We're almost there. Just gotta open this up. Uh, I, I will give him credit that for the most part, the shines. I re I don't for I don't remember the shines being like too bad. Some of them are actually ow. pretty ow. Some of them are actually pretty Ooh. like quick, or I should say like a lot of them are very like narrow. Oh, like hello. hey, do this. Oh my gosh. Oop. Well. Okay. Huh. It's it's the cleaning goop. Why can't they all be like that? Can't say you didn't give it a shot. Oh. So yeah, this hut heat right here is home to these two, the raccoon, uh, the, the father and son, and they will sell you shine sprites for a specific amount of blue coins. Hello there. I suppose you're here for that. Hmm. Yes, very good. What? That means I'll require ten blue coins from you. Uh, police! Police! <laughs> Not even ten coins, and you get nothing. You lose. <laughs> Anyway, you have to come back again. I'm afraid to you later. Think. Daddy, what, 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 who was that man? A low life, honey. <laughs> wow. like, These two scrotum lickers oh. have 24 units of this entire island species life force yep. in their possession, and yet they still blame Mario. Daddy, who are we? I couldn't care less. <laughs> who are we, Dad? Time. All right, so uh, going from the hills, we head on straight to the harbor, where also, we will encounter another of uh, of a very mutated Mario enemy kind. Yeah. Also, to be honest, I always thought that the uh, elder raccoon was supposed to be a mom. Really? Yeah. I mean, Something fishy in the freight area, the far end of the port. Oh. You can't quite see it from here, but I'm sure of it. I got a keen eye for these kinds of things. And an oversized nose, which I could barely see past. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, don't mind him, he's got a speech impediment. We're he's got to... a really bad cold. Good to meet you too, I guess. But uh, yeah, welcome to the harbor. He's allergic to being kind and generous to uh, foreigners. Oh, uh, so that's the <laughs> lesson. Oh. Oh god, you saw- you see that too, the freaky- <laughs> look at that Pianta over there! Uh, what the- what? Uh, oh, he's yelling, he's frozen, uh, and he's frozen, and then he freezes. <laughs> and then he's yelling, and then he freezes. It's the render distance. Also, check it out, bloopers. Yeah. They look really weird in this game. 
Uh, there's like two varieties of bloopers that I can recall in this game. There's these ones that you only really see in the water. They're jumping. And then there's the ones that look a little more a little more familiar to Mario players, but they gave them arms and mouths, which yeah. are a little unsettling. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, and the little teeth. Uh, they go but look, at, look at their eyes, man. Look at their <laughs> Look at their fanged mouth. They want you to they want to stare straight into your soul, and I say that's to that. It's a little too HD for my liking. Uh, otherwise, uh, as you already just now saw from James. Uh, those of you who grew up with, uh, those of you, come on. Come on. I didn't hear no bell. Uh, no, <laughs> those of you who grew up with Mario 64 and like, oh yeah, the game kind of just eases you into the platforming. No, this game will very quickly make big demands of you and fast with, uh, with mastering Okay, now see, this Beyonce is at least courteous. He, he knows we're currently in the middle of a job, but he's, he's, he's politely asking that we take care of some of the uh, scrubbing on the wall too. Yeah. See, not all of them are bad. <sighs> but it gave me a blue coin, which fills me with some seething rage. Oh, wow. These coins, they're they're purveyors of sadness, unnatural out emblem emblems of evil and corruption and everything wrong with this world. Now be careful. Ow. <laughs> Ow, my head. And mind the fall. So these little sewer areas are really fucking weird? Yeah, I mean, it's the first... As far as I'm concerned, this is like the one and only time in a Mario game where they actually tried underground pipe-like systems. In a more traditional sense, because... <gasps> I don't understand oh. why, but whenever you jump oh. out of those manhole covers... Yeep! You're pretty much launched... You're launched up like a rocket. Sometimes literally. But anyway, meet Gooper Blooper. He's a messy boy, so much so that his caretakers had to plug up his mouth. He's got a funny pacifier. It's also a cork. Okay, that. Yeah. Ouch! Ooh. Now's not the now's not the time to act up, Mr. Uh, Gooper Blooper, sir. Thank you. Also, it's kind of morbid how you take this thing out. Yeah, you take out it. You technically you just have to take care of its mouth, but it is encouraged that you take out its arms too, because uh, those things will obviously keep on aiming for Mario if given the chance. Why does its eyes turn purple when you spray it? That's just oh, weird and unnatural to me. Well, I mean, water is unnatural to it, that's why it's it's writhing in pain so much. Yeah, but purple? Actually, wait a minute. What am I doing? What are you doing? Come on. You. Let's make this quick, shall we? Gucci Gucci. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! He flattened. Yeah, I'm going to be real with you and say that when I was playing this game, I remembered actually being genuinely freaked out by its tentacles. I remember being genuinely freaked out by everything in this game. Fun fact. Uh, our tentacle arms will do that if you douse them in soy sauce. Makes oh, sense. yeah. Because the muscle contractions or whatever, but it's just, it's just freaky to me just how like realistically because I, that's a genuine fear of mine is like of rapidly moving things like that. It's something to do with like electrical impulses connected to their limbs. I think. Sounds about right. Uh, have you lads ever have have any of you lads ever tried the dancing squid bowl? No. no. Mm -hmm. I'm not a. Why I'm is not... it called a dancing squid bowl when they what? stick an octopus on top? What? Oh. That's just not nice. That's just not correct. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't know. Hey, what, what, what are your thoughts on this given situation hype? It's weird. It's honestly, I feel like that can sum up a lot of Mario's sunshine. It's like, and here I thought Sarasaland was the weirdest place I'd been to. Oh, it's so unnatural. Close one there, James. Yeah, I nearly got nicked. Ah. And also, yes, I did notice that the uh, tentacles were technically separated from the body. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Data. Where am oh. I? Okay, I th for a second I thought, like, I, st I thought there had been, like, some glitch and he had hit you, so you were in the ground as you were, like... <laughs> You've become a Pikmin. <laughs> no. You know what? what? I think we need to talk about Yeah, how about that? Let's talk about that for a little bit. The Pikmin what? for, like, recent more news. We've been learning about it. Now you can be a captain that doesn't know how to drive his own devil damn ship. Hooray! Now you too can starve. Actually, it's funny you say that, because uh, the more I looked into it, uh, we're actually like the, like, okay, so the main story, as far as I'm aware, is that Captain Olimar got stranded on the planet again. again. Yes. Um, 
And uh, this time, they, a rescue team straight from Hokotate were sent out to rescue them. They also got stranded. So now they're sending one more an, an, uh, operative from that same from that same uh, faction straight to the planet. And that's like the one exception that, like, whoever you're playing is not the one who technically gets their ship wrecked. In fact, you're technically the one that's trying to yeah, save everyone else. Right. So this time, as opposed to saving, as opposed to finding treasures or fruit or ship pieces, you're literally trying to find hokotations on your goal to try and save now everybody who is meant to save Captain Olimar. Yep. Why do we keep Why do we keep going back to PNF 404? It doesn't work. I will argue There's nothing though, good about PNF 404. I will ahead, argue sorry. though. Yes, the whole thing is that, like we were sent to rescue the rescue team that was meant to rescue Olimar. They never showed us how we got onto the planet, so there's still a good chance we can live up the Hakitation legend and crash there too. <laughs> Well, yeah. from the looks of it, it looked like our ship was able to land straight into the planet relatively fine. I'm pretty sure it's a rite of passage for any hot-blooded Hokitation at this point. Also, say hello to Big Daddy. Hi, Big Daddy. That's right, I'm the Big Daddy of Blooper Surfing. If there was... You like surfing? Hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but uh, one thing, Big Daddy waits on liability for accidents. Now hang loose, bud! What? All liability? If this guy was ever to be in a TV show, he would be voiced by Tone Lock. All right, boys, uh, which Tone color Lock. should I pick? Apologies. Ah. Um, if you want to go sicko mode, you go pink. I don't want to go If you want to go uh, Weenie Hut Juniors, you go green. Uh-huh. I like yellow. And I'm not even going to tell you what yellow does. I like yellow. It's banana. What's that you say? Sicko mode? Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, I said fucko mode! Oops. Mario, you fool! <laughs> what if you melee Let's failed? Go. Okay, go. So this is so these are the big differences. Uh, I feel like someone tells you about it, but basically all three of those bloopers do actually have their own like different differences in handling the ranging from you know tighter turns to higher speed. Oh, and oh, oh it's boy. a good thing you didn't crash into that wall because a really dickish <laughs> thing. Oh, you want to go for a ride, bud? Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like. Go on, show me some super blooping surfing. And win yourself a prize! I thought you were going to go into your inner Creole and give him, like, a New Orleans accent. No. It's like, wow! Why uh, are so, you uh, Blooper? Why would you go jump on a wall and squish and go on a race? I don't know. Just don't go for it and go for all the shortcuts. But yes, I, yes, I agree with Hype. Be very mindful because uh, suddenly Mario d d develops the, f the frailty of an old man when he's on these bloopers. <laughs> More like he's rendered in... More like he's turned into fucking plexiglass. Essentially. The or rice you, paper. The moment you slam on a wall, that's it. Life lost. You die. <laughs> the plumber dies. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh... This is actually one area where you can get two shine sprites. The second time, the second one you'll have to get on a, re on a revisit. Oh. Phew! Nice. Oh yeah, so and uh, of all things, another thing that this another thing that this mission tells us is that Mario's uh, self esteem is you, his bud, life. Are what I'd like to call super duper cool. Hey. To commemorate the birth of a blooper surfing legend, this is for you. Thank you. But no, the other jokey thing I can think of is that this mission is also what teaches us that Mario's self esteem is his life. And <laughs> if you don't beat this in a fast enough time, the the guy will say. That was pretty weak, bud. And Mario will die on the spot. <laughs> He'll just kill over. He will kill over from more. disappointment and embarrassment, Ooh. and you have to strike. It's ridiculous. More disgusting black sludge. Oh, the inhumanities. Oh, ha, ha. We can ignore that for now. Let's go check. No, we need. We need, we, we, we do need to pay attention to that, because I think... Oh, wait. <laughs> it, uh, does... Do those shines... Did, uh, you know, no, better to see new things before we, because we're gonna be, we, we are gonna have to be retreading anyway, because there are certain unlocks that we need uh, to complete some of hey, these wait, uh, le levels. Go back. Oh. What was that? You saw some sparkle. Ooh. Yeah. Secret shot. <laughs> <laughs> Go get it, smartass. Every level has a, has a two of these. Oh, Secret okay. shot. Yeah, Except for Dolphino Plaza, which has like I don't know, like a billion. Too many to count. Go get it. Okie um, dokie. You know what? I I gotta ask you now because I do want to keep getting your apologies. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the recent? Uh, I don't think it has been acquired yet, but the current like 
work being done by Universal and Illumination to acquire the next Nintendo property they want to work on? Um, I will say, I will echo people's sentiments in that, like, you know, certain Nintendo properties, I'm fine with Illumination doing, you know, like, they've proven that, you know, they're f perfectly capable of doing Mario, you know, slight issues with the writing notwithstanding. But I think the one thing that, I think the one franchise people universally agree upon that they do not trust Illumination to do in the slightest is Zelda. And that's the one that they got their hands on next. Or at the very least, that's the one that they have their eyes set on next. The, the, mo the most that the uh, article told me was that they are currently working uh, to, um, to acquire it. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen from there. Someone on Twitter did have a, a decent point, though, which hearing me out. I could see Illumination pulling off a Wind Waker movie. Oh, yeah, like, if it was Toon Link, that's fine, because, you know, Toon Link is, you know, quirky enough to work, but if that's not going to be the case, um, what's the name of the current director of the Zelda games again? Oh, Ishima? Uh, Anuma? Anuma. Anuma, Anuma. 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 Anuma better have, like, uh, we joke about how, like, you know, Nintendo, like Miyamoto, they have, like, a leash on Illumination when they were doing Mario. Anuma better have that leash on Death Grip when they're doing Zelda. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... It just started, like, fucking downpouring over here, so... Oh, dear. No, no yeah. worries. Oh, dear, a slide! <laughs> ah, no, these are fine. Okay, and I'm... Please hear me out. I, this, is one of, this is one of my favorite tracks of just oh. chill Mario in this game. Like, the... the Can he it make almost, it? I think you done goofed. It almost borders on, like, liminal... Oh, smooth. Just barely. It, 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 some of these levels almost border on like liminal space to me in terms of like this weird like odd coziness I feel looking at some of these special zones and like the you feel warm and fluffy inside from the from the uh, the, the, uh, and the look, clouds it's steadily getting brighter and brighter yep and I also just remember that I still got poop to clean up I'm pretty sure the feds are gonna go hauling up my ass if I don't clean it up I don't know. You see there, the queen ant has just arrived from the hole now to welcome the troops. And watch him <laughs> oh, that was me continuing the gag that they're still watching those ants trailing around the streets rather than their job. I'm going to name that one Antony. Wow. Ooh. Jeez. If not that, if not that, then yeah, the other thing I'm thinking of again, hype is that, look, she's breaching. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, we will. Oh, we will. Toad's free. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I got you. Oh, yeah, help me, Scoochie. Oh, no. Uh, the group is expanding. Oh, oh and he unleashes more of those people. stews. Right. There's a lot of colorful critters right there. Yeah, that's like the one annoying thing about the goop. Like, whenever you see any uh, enemy goop, like, laying around, that's usually uh, that's usually a spawn point for these these wandering stews. There we go. Okay. I think they could spawn from any amount of food. Yeah, Ow! even, a, even a, small, a, a small, like, drip. Also, i just like to make note, um, there's a friggin' thing you could ground pound on on top of the lighthouse. It's just the floating lighthouse. there until the lighthouse gets up to reach it. Oh my god, the lighthouse. <laughs> it's a house of light. I wonder why it's so white. Oh, fun fact! A long time ago, Yoshi's lived on this island as well! Oh. Just fancy that. Just I'm sorry, like... Oops, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what you can do about it? But now I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> Icky's mess up of calling that the White House. Now I'm just flashing back to, like, the Aww. same scene, but, like, say, say Toad doing it. You just see the Eiffel Tower. Oh, hold on, I missed a spot. Sorry. I mean, it's a house, and it's white. Continue. And it's also a lighthouse. Anyway, I'm just, like, I'm just gonna use Toad as an example. You see Mario, Peach, and Toad in front of the Eiffel Tower and just... Stonehenge! <laughs> anyway, what was I... Right, Gelato Beach, home to the most obnoxious little uh, quackers you ever done seen. Hey, you can't say that. What, quackers? <laughs> yeah. You'll be banned from Twitch saying that. Hey, you! Don't get the water dirty here! What? And don't step on the doom butts! Thanks for your cooperation. Okay. Uh, okay. Jerk. What was that? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep walking. <laughs> uh, no, I said nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, walk. Oh, that's right. It's also here where we're also oh! introduced to the Nokis. The best bull fighters. Oh, so is often referred to as a slice of paradise on Earth. They are. You're setting me. In Gelato Beach? 
why, it's its most sun kissed shore. Aww. All the local Piantas and Nokis just like to have festivals here. The seashell people, they're cute. They're teeny. A festival. Alright, let's get. <laughs> I was like, a festival? Alright! Let's get down. Oh, look, there's a little plant thingy on the ground next to you. Uh, oh, there but is. there are all these ducks in the way. Oof! Oof. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> It said we're flying oh, too. Tell me about that. <laughs> she didn't mind it. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's oh, right. I guess he just like, killed that duck. As long as it's just up, it has that flinging hitbox on it still. I guess. I think I, I, you saw nothing, okay? <laughs> and that was the day Mario learned that God was looking out for him. Thank Wait, you. they're all just asleep now. They're just oh, chilling out. That one's awake. It's, 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 I mean, have you ever been on a warm, sandy beach? You can't help but feel like, you know, a little bit, you know, relaxing and... Wow! Okay. Oh, nice. Do note that that's actually very important. Uh, blue cataquacks, uh, they're just little pranksters. The red ones, though, will deal damage to you, I believe, when they launch you into the air. Mm-hmm. They're uh, kind of like those heave-ho enemies from Mario 64. Whoop! Only a lot more aggressive. Whee! Oh, oh no, they I actually know, do, damage. do damage to you. Okay, I guess they can do more damage, I guess I because guess of the fall damage. Yeah. But you can always also butt bop them. And you can stomp them on their butt. <laughs> but I don't but do it doesn't kill them. one ass to another. Ha. Huh. Alright, let's go figure out what the heck we gotta do here. So are those spots on their. Oh! On the <laughs> oh. oh, what the. <laughs> that was How exciting. Now hurry before that sand castle melts away. Gory, a gory discretion quack shot. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a dumb joke too. Had to watch out of just all. Neener, neener. No, you're fine, dude. Welcome to our secret levels, which has one of the catchiest jingles in this game, and uh, also Acapella. and also probably uh, will be home to some of the most. I, I, here, here's the thing. It's I'd say it's relative. These can be the most devious challenges ever if you if you like young little me become over reliant on flood for all your platforming. Yep. These uh, are this is, these are the levels that make you miss the hover nozzle. Yep. So uh, again, this is where the game will again start to demand a lot from you, and. Uh, so uh, I hope you're good with a per with a platforming. Also, James also just reminded me with some of those jumping. This, the the one, one of the big nitpicks I have about this game's sound design is that mm -hmm. Martinet did some of his most insane work as Mario on this. Like when he jumps in the lava, the <laughs> honestly, so I'd argue just just the GameCube. But, I know we talked about it before, but just the GameCube era in general felt like it was like Martinet as his peak. Right, like, or at least his peak unhinged. But occasionally when you're jumping, they'll suddenly, for whatever reason, they saved one of the old, in its compressed state, audio recordings back on Mario 64, and it it definitely stands out compared to the other ones. Uh, also, another yeah, thing I, <laughs> Like, honestly, yeah. just another thing I love when it comes to, like, Mornay's work on Sunshine is, like, a lot of it, as far as I can tell, went unused, and it's, like, some of my favorite clips. Like, the whole, like, aren't I done yet? Oh, awesome. There's more. Wait, where do you hello, really? and, of course, and of course, is it... and of course, there's the, the the most beautiful of unused clips. Uh, hello, door. door? Yeah. <laughs> is that like was it like from a like an unused like CD or something or? Might have been a it might have been a file that went unused in the game. Yeah, fair enough. So, if I can explain myself a little bit, sure. That that secret stage we just went through is one of the key reasons why I think Sunshine is one of the worst 3D Mario games I've ever played. How come? Well, without... Oh, hello. Hmm? I mean, the game puts a lot oh, of... Oh, oh dear! Boy. That guy's on fire! What are you... Should we put it out? No. <laughs> he did this to himself. Gosh, if only there was some water he could, like, head towards to, like, put yeah, it they out. Never do exp they never do explain why he's on fire, do they? No, it's like uh, it's like when Bender in Futurama was on fire in the in the uh, the sting. There was maybe he got for all I know, maybe he got into con in contact with some of that fiery goop down in the mountains. Maybe uh, what before fiery before, goop? before I do my other Futurama joke, go ahead, Icky. You're, you're okay, like so... explain yourself. I'm like, why do you think it's uh, yeah? 
So Super Mario Sunshine puts a lot of focus on Flood, since, like, it's the hot new thing to help you traverse all these platforming challenges and to, um, you know, defeat enemies, yeah. solve puzzles, yada yada yada. Mario's control without Flood is some of the most jank-ass shit I've ever played in a video game. Uh, I don't think it's, like, the it's worst, way but it's... Too, it's way too responsive for its own good. I'll say, oh, like... Uh, uh, hold, mm. actually, hold that thought real quick. Uh, howdy! Throw me a coin, and I'll throw you for a loop! Uh, what? Yeah! And away you go! Wait, what the- Whoa! Ho, ho. Oh. How did we get uh, in here? Through the window. Uh, thanks! <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I, love I that do just... not like- Thanks! I do not like Mario's control in this game, like, at all. He feels too- I- uh, When I say he's too precise, I- What I mean is, he's too... Snappy. Like... If you try doing, like, a 180, you'll oftentimes have him do, like, the skidding animation, which leads into the, uh, the side flip. Okay, quit your crying, I'll go put the fire out. No! He has to learn how to survive on his own, James. There you go. All better. Now can I have? Now can I have some of those bird mushrooms? No, but you can have this. You can have this cursed token. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. I thought it was chocolate, but it's not. So what was that all about, anyway? I still wish the sun would return. Who needs a tan? I'm blue. Actually, speaking of uh, speaking of tans, I just remembered. <laughs> Out there in the distance, there's a small island over there that's uh, just all sitting there lonely-like. Why don't we pay it a visit? Why not we just not pay it a visit? <laughs> Why not? It's just the hop, skin, the hop, skip, and a swim away. Is it, though? Well, there's no hopping and skinning, but there is swimming. Just swimming. I like swimming. Me too. It's okay. Oh, uh, how's it hanging on this side of the island, Bucko? I've been stranded here for 30 years. I was shipwrecked and washed up Oh my god, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you never think to... I often think about the far shore, but I can't swim. Yeah? I've never left this little island. Isn't that just awful? You do realize that. What have you been surviving off of, man? Oh, There's a boat up... that visits this island regularly! Yeah, here it but comes! But he can't swim. It's right there! There it is. You know did what? I admit, did, you did lost... I mention... Go ahead. Say so your thing. I'll say my joke. Yeah, that, there you go. You lost your heat privilege. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, uh, and I if... think you're thinking too uh, much there, Mario. And if, and if not that, the joke I was going to say, he's like, there's a boat that comes by every time. Why don't you ask him? Did I mention I'm an introvert? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm afraid uh... of talking to boats with no passengers on it. Oh, well, that's too bad, Andre. Wish you could yeah, do this. And he this just boat. flex. A oh my god! Look at him drift. <laughs> don't pick that guy. Don't hey! Don't pick that guy up. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, like it's fine. I'll, I'll wait for the next one. How, how is that ship operating? Because it, there's there's no one actually steering it. It doesn't look like there's any mechanisms to steer it, let alone no. It's remote forward. control. Oh yeah, but, you know it probably is remote control. <laughs> there's just one guy just <laughs> dicking with that dude on the island every day. Oh my so god. So a thought just occurred to me all of a sudden. Was that? We're one shine away from reaching our next big plot point. I just remembered one particular shine we can actually get around now if we know what to do. It mm -hmm. was that. Are you actually going to do it? Why not? Oh, Gotta stretch out for time now. Oh. Alright, well, best of luck then to you, my friend. I, I do not understand what you guys are If you get on top of this boat, normally you need a rocket nozzle, but if you do a well-timed spin jump or whatever up into this nook... Or you could just hover jump. Welcome. To Pachinko. Welcome to Pachinko! Mario Edition! This is, this is one why of... the game was banned in PAL regions! I would. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I, I mean, I thought I'd learn something new. Anyway, welcome to one of two of the most infamous stages in this game. Oh. Um, the best, the best advice I could kind of give is that. Number one, don't think that this is actually behaving like physics. Like there, are, there are definitely there. Are, don't believe that there are actual physics at work here. There are definitely like, uh oh, 
Ooh, there are def there are definitely like there certain you. like invisible tracks that you can fall into, but that's really it. It's almost like like don't try to go against the flow too much, but I think the devs came out and said that they wanted this to feel like a legitimate pachinko machine. Or worse. Oh god. Only problem is is that don't machines usually let you control how fa how hard you uh launch the ball? Yeah. Yes. This does not. So and if even you then, oh. like they rip control away from you, oh. so you have a harder time with this mission. Yeah, again, the and physics. And when the main, when the name of the game is platforming, that's like, that's like the one rule you don't break ever. One of the phys the physics in this thing are very wonky, and uh, we'll say right off the bat. Uh, so James, I mean, what are your thoughts on the pachinko thing? I'm not, I'm, I'm attempting to not jinx anything, but what are your thoughts on the pachinko stage? Absolutely broken. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, oh. Horrible. And the, on the broad side, I haven't lost a life yet. I mean, true. Let's hope, that didn't last words. Let's hope that didn't jinx anything, <laughs> but because it should be noted, the problem is that. I, I, again, and you know, I'm, I'm sure. I, I think I think either Kid Icarus said so. I think Kid Icarus said it with uh, Crash Bandicoot Four. But basically, the, the quote, the, the remark being, "This game expects perfection from you," and we. Can't I think he was saying that in reference to um. Shit, what he was talking about Crash 4. He was talking about Crash 4 because the fact that whenever oh, yeah. you ran into those things with Polar, it wouldn't break every box, even though the game is yeah. expecting perfection from you. But, but regardless. Wow, I actually oh. put it on my first try. Hey, nice. Woohoo! Holy hell, because, yeah, no, basically, if anyone was curious, if he did not land in any of the holes, you just die. And you had to do it all over again. Not only do you have to do And wait. Mario will constantly scream to the reaches of hell. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of something else. Oh, hey. Oh, and actually, funny time when we cleared that Pachinko thing, because uh, it's right around here where the plot remembers. Oh, that's right. Peach needs to be kidnapped. What's that weird frog? It's a weird fruit, you man. <laughs> Master Mario! <laughs> the Princess! Horrible! Horrible! Princess Peach has been kidnapped! Oh, Lordy Lou again. Again? Deb's alert. Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom yes. has apparently been kidnapped. Dot dot dot. Again! again. Okay. <laughs> we will At talk least they have a sense of humor. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, James. I mean. Man, I was really hoping that they, they wouldn't, you know, rush right to the Peach Be Kidnapped part to, like, round the climax. And, I mean, I'll say for what it's worth, like, what we're about to go through right here feels like climax material. But they play their card way too fucking early, and that's probably one of my biggest problems with this game's plot. It was Yoshi all along! Oh my god, you're right. But, uh, you know what, that's the other problem. No, because you're right. Like, the problem is that they play all this... Wow! <laughs> is that they play this plot card this early... And I think what makes it all the more unforgivable is, oh yeah, the Bethina Park. Uh, no, the other part that makes it all the more unforgivable is the fact that they had nothing else planned after this point, plot-wise. After we do this, the game doesn't really have any other big cutscenes or big things to do for the next like five hours. All right then, hop in there and cover your ears. Oh great. Oh. I recommend we take care of a specific amount of missions in this level before we, um, go do other things. Well, I mean, Only we're... because we unlock one of the more, uh, I guess you could say important uh, abilities in the game. Well, yeah, by all means, let's do it. That's fair. But uh, first things first, uh, we got ourselves a little showdown with that there shadow brat that kidnapped the princess. Uh, it just said... Uh, excuse me, but I just said Mecha Bowser appears. Well, well, clearly there's a Mecha Bowser involved. Well, clearly there's a Mecha Bowser that's involved. We just have to deal with it first. What did it say, Strawberry Noki? Welcome to Peanut Park! Okay. Thanks! Alright. Also, I gotta say, this is one of the most baffling decisions in, the, in game design to me. How's that? The moment you enter that door, you cannot leave the park. Yeah, the doorways closed right then and there. It acts as a separate zone. area, despite Pinya Park being rendered with it. There's some weird loading zone stuff. I think some mods have tried to fix it, but yeah, well. So now it's you and me and this uh, fountain that I'm literally floating above. I thought he was allergic to water. That's why he's standing above it. No? Well, I mean, technically, but oh. remember, 
I am your god now. I can part the waters and unleash your greatest nightmare. God damn it, you're reminding me of the evil Mario from that mobile game, though. Where is God when you need him? <laughs> Fucking blue Alright, so... Flood is blind because he has no eyeballs. Well, no, he's because he's on the back. He's like, I, I, I can't see. You gotta turn me around. <laughs> I have to turn my head around. <sighs> so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, like, only 10 shines in, and now we get to face Mecha Bowser. That's a big robot. How are we to deal with it? Oh, oh my oh god! god! <laughs> the end. <laughs> Fish sticks, get your fish sticks here! <laughs> Amazing! What a spectacle! Is this our new show of ours? You guys are great! Whoever raised you need whoever hired you needs a raise! Whoever raised you needs a hire! <laughs> <Whoever> raised... <laughs> I, love, I love how you play the fearless hero and he's like a bad version of you, but you both look like look the same and stuff! See Well, has to has, see see he, he This likes guy it. This guy gets it! Well, as director of the park, I want to ensure your success. Ah? Uh -huh. So, uh, how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Sure. Follow me. For only a nominal fee of nineteen ninety. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a free, a free, a free roller coaster ride to take turtle. out this behemoth. That's a free drink. What could possibly go wrong? A bullet bill approaches from behind. Yeah, no darn. So basically. You gotta get very cautious with your aim in here. Yeah, and also be careful because there's also bullet bills that are gonna be riding up your behind. This at certain points. This roller coaster needs a bit of reticle. Ow! It really does. It absolutely. Yeah, does. targeting reticle would help. Uh, also, uh, be wary. Target, all... Targeting reticle and maybe better aim. And also be wary that right here you need to spray its mouth. Oh, nice. Uh, not here. Uh, we're we're getting to that part though. Ooh. Oh, but yeah, it's just a good. I want to say three, four shots with the rocket is all you need to take him out. Oh, okay. Now we douse the flames. Oh. Lost an order. Nice. Okay. Wait, are those oh. GameCube controller ports in his chest? I nah, shit. I think they are. Nah, I mean, they're, <laughs> I mean, they're, mo they're mainly meant to be Bullet Bill. Ah, uh... oh, the freaky! Damn it! I almost. Oh. I thought I had. Oh. Wait, maybe I can get him here if I get another rocket. Okay, never mind. I'm about to lean. Oh, Even the Bullet Bills in this game look weird. Yeah, no, they got really crazy looking faces. They got clown noses. They look like they want to heckle you to death. Uh, uh oh, where are they? I hear that whistling. They? Oh, no matter. Oh, 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 my lord. Jeez, they keep on coming. Yeah. Just easy done. And there's it. no clear indication as to where they're coming Ow. from. That's it. Straight to the head. Wow, well, well, done. Now he has nothing but the head and legs. Okay. Now? There. Now tell us your secrets. What are the secrets Ooh. laden in your brain? It's you. Oh, that makes sense. But Bowser was all, always had the princess on his mind. Hmm. And Mario and... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is this little tyke? Making his very debut with Super Mario Sunshine, it's... In the most confusing manner possible. It's Bowser's son. I have a son? I have a son? This is wonderful! I must tell everyone! A tax right uh, I must tell the townsfolk! <laughs> Can I just say, whoever was in charge of writing that line, I hope he was fired after this game came out. <laughs> Fuck me, I hate that one so much. Because Peach never denies it, she just seems just as confused. When she should damn well know that's not true. Like, how hammered do you have to be to forget a night like that? Ooh. A strange white man in an old coat. Wait a minute. Sure, gave to you. Totally, gotcha. Totally on board with that. I mean, I'm pretty sure Egad doesn't know Bow Bowser's affiliation. They never really met, so... I was like, hey, old man, can I have that cool paintbrush? Oh, no, sure. Like, hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. That's exactly how he's... <laughs> they, all, they all don't sound like Piantas, regardless. I forgot who <laughs> No, voiced... they don't all sound like Piantas, but they all just say hubba bubba. Okay. Some... <laughs> Fair enough. 
But yeah, but all, all, all you gotta know is that for oh. the rest of this entire plot, they've taken them to the mountain. We don't know why they're at the mountain just yet. We don't know why we can't go to the mountain. We're just not gonna be able to go to the mountain for like the next six hours. Maybe we can go to Corona Mountain. We just can't get inside. For whatever reason. And yeah, no, like this, this right here feels like this should have been endgame stuff. Right. This is a very weird. Because I mean, we we know we know we know where they're going. We could just head on over there. I mean, great. Yeah, it's all blockaded. But I mean, who's to say we can't take it out ourselves? Right. But nonetheless, I'd say ten shines is enough for us. Or excuse me, eleven shines. Technically, it's eleven. Okay. Now we have a hundred and nine to go. Uh. In a matter of speaking, yes. So, uh, we'll see you all next time as we start going through the rest... Doing a more thorough cleanup of the rest of Isle Delfino's locations. See you all next time! Bye.